I say fairies. Okay, I'm Mary Cater, and I'm one of the evangelists from South Central Georgia Jurisdiction Church of God in Christ. But it's not only just us that worked on this project, and just uh, Governor Kemp was an inspiration to me. Definitely Judge Tane Kale has been, and, and it was so odd that I learned yesterday that he did the podcast for Wellspring. So I was a little nervous, and he said, Mary, you can do this. You got this, and you're my backup today. Oh. Now, I'm going to let you introduce yourself, to, And uh, I definitely want you to talk about the single mothers, you know, that group that I talked about. Yeah, for sure. So Mary Frances Foley, Executive Director of Wellspring Living, and here we are at the Receiving Center where we serve youth ages 12 to 17 who have been trafficked. And I'm so grateful that you have all these Thank people you. that are facing these sacrifices to make this so special for Yes. It's hard to be away from family. They're away from their family. And I've just been to uh, our other residential programs just saying thank you to the people who are serving on this day and also just recognizing our kids as they are away from their family. But they've had a fabulous Christmas because yes. of people like you. Thank you. I was you. just looking at the choose one of the, the slippers that yes. was the first slippers. Yes. She was so proud. And just <laughs> making Christmas special is so, um, so heartwarming for us as an organization because we're trying to do all those things to support them but seeing the community come around them speaks volumes to them so mm -hmm. we do serve our youth 12 to 17 our girls 12 to 17 but we also serve almost 200 women over the course of a year who are 18 and up and most all of them are moms mm -hmm. so think about a single mom who's had this terrible experience does not maybe have even the skills to get a living wage competitive job um, and they have children and so to keep those children from becoming vulnerable it's really important that we surround them with the things they need and also educate them so that they can move toward living wage employment and so we're doing that through our women's academy we're doing that through our women's residential program we're helping to support them after they finish the program by living at our bridge community or our graduate village up um, in another part of Atlanta, um, and we are thrilled that they are all getting to see the good part of man. Yes. That, that, that through the love of God, seen through people like you, by giving and serving, all of our participants are noticing and helping to understand that they are worth something valuable, mm -hmm. and that... Um, they do have a future and a hope. So thank you yes. so much for making it happen. Well, let me put the emphasis on, I like the talk that you did on the shoes. Uh -huh. That bishop, Daynetta, Scott, uh, Daynetta Sparks Lamb, she called me and she said, not only was the uh, slippers, but Nikes was in oh, there. Yeah. All kinds of things was in there. And uh, again, when Judge Kale told me that he did the podcast, and then we had District Missionary. District Missionary is a lady that's over the women in that district. Okay, okay and that's District Missionary Lucy Hill. And my superintendent is Superintendent Rodney Hill. That's Carrollton, Georgia, Bowden, Georgia, Noonan. Uh, Tallapoosa, okay, Bowden, all of those people uh, participated in what we're doing. Then my bishop is Bishop Norman Odell Harper. He's over 20, 2,300 pastors and five states, but he's located in Decatur, Georgia. His wife is the First Lady Arabella Harper, and the supervisor over all of the supervisors and women in uh, the South Central Georgia jurisdiction is doctor from Columbus, Georgia, Dr. Gloria Johnson Roger, and she's a real medical doctor. Her husband is too. And um, 
Bishop Michael Payton and First Lady Peggy Payton and his supervisor over the Georgia Metro is District Missionary Williams. And I, I apologize, and I got to not keep apologizing. I got to learn her first name. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Suzanne them fed on Thanksgiving. First Lady Henry and Pastor Henry and uh, their auxiliary head, Sister Evelyn, they're coming in at six to help me. I could do the lunch and First Lady them and my pastor is Pastor Alan Wally Cater Jr. We're here in we're in Hiram. Okay. And I work for Douglas County Sheriff Department. I uh, run the Lithia Springs Precinct. And uh, like I said, I'm glad that you're here. You make me feel good. I was a little nervous because I've been in prisons, 49, in the state of Georgia. I've been in the Atlanta Federal Prison, but I've never worked with youth in this area. Okay, so I needed that back in the judge care told me, Mary, as much as you give, you can do this. So I needed him yesterday. <laughs> bishop Harper, once you meet my bishop. And so we're gonna help. And I and Dr. Daynetta Sparks, okay, uh, the first lady and pastor of Bound, Georgia is Pastor Charles Rosser and his wife is First Lady Bobby Rosser and uh, school teachers. Dr. Stephen Culver cooked that dump cake. Oh, wow. He is the trainer for Cobb County Board of Education Administration and he trains teachers to teach special aid, special uh, ed, yes. Um, teachers, Sheila Sands, she cooked the beans and different stuff, and she's a special need teacher at Sanders Elementary. And um, Rochelle Cater, she's out of South Central, she's out of Southern um, South Georgia, but she's in Austell. She was teacher of the year. And so she's under Bishop uh, Ingram. I think it's James Ingram and First Lady Ingram. So we had a host of people that came in and, and law enforcement. Randy, who's over, um, Randy is over uh, public defenders for Paulding County. He was over Cobb County, and we worked together over 20 years. And so I called Randy Sheriff Henson. Sheriff Henson has been motivation to me. Um, so I, I like to call the people's names because I don't want them to think that just Mary did it. Well, you are the community organizer. <laughs> Let's just talk about that. We're glad to have you. And, th and I did all of my proper paperwork. I passed my test. I uh, I, I think uh, Judge Kell, Judge Bodiford did references on me. And so, and my sheriff is Sheriff Timothy Pounds out of Douglas County. Um, now, Sheriff um, Owens is that he's like my son <laughs> okay but i gotta brag on the two of them yeah. because they're special scott hamilton chief of police out of austell so it's a lot of them that have been it sounds like you've got a really great yes and they're doing wonderful things and and we want to help you with the women yeah. i'm glad to i'm glad to meet you in person not a podcast <laughs> And, that was a divine connection, and I really yes. that opportunity. And Governor Kemp, I hope you enjoy this video with, and it's always a Sister Mary Francis. <laughs> always, I did the mayor's house. Everywhere I go, I meet a Sister Mary Francis. There you go. Yes. And Chelsea. Yeah. 
Miss Chelsea is good at it. Chelsea walked me step by step as far as what I have to do. I'm going to stop talking because I got to set up in there. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. So Thank